Hi, you guys. Happy Thursday. Let's start marching on the spot, swinging our arms, standing up nice and tall. Okay. So while we're doing warm up, I'm just going to update everyone with the website. It's almost done. It's almost done. Hopefully one final meeting today. But I just want to let everyone know I will be in touch with you for the next steps. Okay? So it's going to be a really easy process. But everyone just has to transfer over basically when your payment is due. Okay? So say, for example, your payment is um, the 18th of the month, then before the 18th of the month, you'll go and register for the program, okay? So just continue what you're doing for now, receiving the daily emails or going to YouTube and looking for your video, okay? So everything remains the same until I'm in touch. So that's the good news is we're really, really close. Squeeze the back of your legs. Excellent. And then you won't need to receive the daily email from me. You'll just go to the website and it will all be there for you. The link to the Zoom workout. We still have our same schedule. That does not change, and it's through Zoom, so that's good. And then the daily recorded videos, they'll be there for you, labeled. Good, side to side. You can update your payment information there, okay? So it's a secure site, so that is the benefit for the Zoom and for all your payment information, it's as secure as, uh, say for example, a Netflix account or something that you have a membership monthly that is all over the computer. Good. Let's do one more each side and then our smoothie drumming. So I've been busy taping the trial for our program. So say if someone is really, uh, well, is online and they say, see a free week of Fit and 55 Plus. So they'll click on that. And then there are three workout videos that they can try before they join. Now, let's do our hinge. Push, push back. So I'm sending you guys this week, our workouts are the trials. Push, 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 push back. And you can tell me what you think. And squeeze, push back. I already posted one. I think it was the third one. Last one here. And squeeze. Nice. Okay, so there's warm up. Grab some water. So that's warm up and a little bit of an update. Okay, but just know you're not alone. I'll call you on the phone. I'll walk you through it. If you want to know when your payment date is, just let me know. Send me a message. All right. So first up, we're going to combine two exercises that we did this week, okay? We know the squat and, and then the lunge or press. So we're going to go squat and you just have to reposition your feet for the pushback and then go back to squat. If you do a reverse lunge where you have a little bit more bend in your knee, okay or i'm pushing back okay so you can either push your heel to the mat or bend your knee a little bit okay so we're combining a squat and alternate lunge 
That's exercise number one. Number two, we're going to do an upright row. So a band or dumbbells, you can do an upright row. Then you're going to go to the wall, wall mountain climber, or marching really quick at the wall. Then we have an upper body exercise. So if you missed out on bicep curls this week, tricep extension, L raise, okay? You can do one of those, or we can alternate each round, but just make sure upper body exercise. And then I'm doubling our cardio. We're gonna do our modified jack. So if no jumping for you, don't jump. If you wanna jump, you can. And if you need your arms low, you can do more of side instead of up and over. All right, so exercise one, we're gonna do our squat, lunge, lunge. And then an upright row. Okay, everybody. So, feet a little bit wider than our hips. You're gonna hear the timer in four, three, two, one, and go. So squat, push, push, and back to squat. Or you're bending your knee. I'm gonna do one from this angle as well. Squat, push, push, or squat, bend your knee. You can do it in front of a chair, okay? You can be holding a chair. And reposition your feet from the wide squat. You're more narrow for the push. There's our rest. If you wanna finish your combination, you can. Now we go to upright row. Grab our weights. There we go, and pull. I'm just going to turn out my timer volume. Keeping our shoulders low. Squeezing your shoulder blades together. That's it. and down. Great. Now, our wall mountain climber. So you can go to the wall. You can march on the spot. If you jump, you can do a little bit of high knees. There we go. That's it. I'm just going to march on the spot so I don't have my back towards you, but at least I'm moving. If you wanna join me, you can march on the spot. You got it. Standing up nice and tall. Almost there. Okay, now upper body. I'm gonna start with bicep curl, okay? But if you have not done a bicep curl or tricep, L raise, which that's working our shoulders, then you can choose what you like here. And then we're gonna go another cardio exercise. This gives you a good opportunity to catch your breath after our cardio. So just be mindful of your breathing here. Keep our shoulders low. Aim for one more. And rest. Okay. Now, our modified jumping jack. 
touch to the side. If you want to kind of add a little pop, there we go. Then you can. If no over the shoulder for you or up above your head, then you can have your arms come across your body. But if you need to slow it down, you can slow it down and do a little bit of a stretch. Everybody at their own pace. Feel the nice stretch. Almost there. Breathe. And, and water break. Woo! Rest. Okay, round one done. If you're not a fan, of the squat and the lunge put together, then you can alternate rounds if you like. So you can do squats, exercise one now, and then next time you can do your reverse. Okay, let's get ready in five, four, three, two, and begin. I'm going to do the squat, lunge, lunge. And you can have a chair in front or not. That's it. You got it, legs. Shoulders are low. And okay. Now, upright row. Set yourself, shoulder roll, soft knees. There it is. Shoulder blades and down. Doing good. One more. And awesome. Now our wall mountain climber or marching on the spot. Deep breath. There we go. I'm just gonna march on the spot or you can do march and press. stick with bicep curl or tricep. Almost there. One more on each side. And perfect. Now our jack. In five, 
four, three. There we go. That's it. You can either do one side at a time or both at the same time with your arms. Keep your stomach tight. Right to the timer. Make sure you're pushing your bum back in that squat. Step back, step back. Okay, upright row. Shoulder roll, there it is. on the spot. There we go. And just keep driving those knees forward regardless if you're a mountain climber. You can always come down to the ground for mountain climber as well. You're in plank position, drive your knees forward.
Nice soft elbows. Okay, 10 seconds left. Two, and one. Awesome. Nicely done. Another round down. I don't know why I was thinking this. Probably I just read it this morning. But do you know one third of people only wash their bed sheets once a year? Ah, oh, I don't know why I'm saying that. I do like fresh sheet Sundays, maybe not my comforter weekly, but once a year, people? Okay, <laughs> maybe I'm cueing everybody. Now that's a weekend job. Everybody clean your comforters and bedding. All right, three, two, People go weeks, but a year? Huh. Squat, push, push. It's entirely up to you how you're breaking this exercise down. You can continue with squats. Finish your combo when you hear the timer if you're middle of a lunge. Okay. Nicely done. Now our upright row. Shoulder roll. You can do it. Last one. Okay. Wall mountain climber. Or down on the ground. That's it. Or marching. Everybody at your own pace, try to do as much as you can in your working time. to the shoulder height, no farther, come together, and up. 10 seconds. And now our jack. Okay, get ready. We're 
reach, reach. Doing great. Almost there. exercise. You can either do one or both arms at the same time. We're going to start with our squats though, our last round, and let's see if you're good again. What we're going to do for our finisher, what muscle group we're going to work on. See if you can guess at the end. Okay, squat, lunge, ready, Doing great. And time. Okay, last time there. Upright row. Set herself. There it is. Almost there. One more. And there we go. Mountain climber. Okay. Three, two. Got it. I can and I will. Right to the timer. Five seconds. same time. You can have your palms facing each other or out, whichever way is more comfortable. So you can do one at a time. You can do both at the same time. If you'd rather your arms nice and narrow, you can have your palms facing each other, knuckles facing the ceiling. Push straight up. Ten seconds. Make sure you're not curving your back. Okay. Nice. Now our jack. Shake it out.
Almost there. of upper body, we did cardio, now lower body, kind of working on her butt. So we're going to start, if you want a chair, with her straight leg, okay, kick out, so my leg is just straight, squeezing the back of my leg, squeezing my butt, I'll switch you. And then we're going to go side leg raise, and then side, okay? So we're going to go back and forth. Exercise one is the kick back. Exercise two is the side to side. Okay. Let's stay on the same side. I'll switch you halfway. Just once we kind of get planted, it's easier to stay there. Nice soft knee. Okay. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. So nice soft knee, stomach's tight. Okay, switch sides. I did 10, so even if you count. Really squeeze. And rest. Okay. We're going to now switch to side leg raises. The timer should come on now. In three, two, there we go. So out to the side. If you're balancing, that's great. Or you can be at a wall, a chair in front. Maybe a person. Grab the nearest person if anyone's in the house. Other side, switch. And it's entirely up to you how high you lift that leg. If it causes you to lean to the side, then just don't raise your leg as high. Stay up nice and tall. Okay. Woohoo! On fire. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Five seconds, soft knee for that standing leg. There we go. I bring my foot to the center and squeeze as I'm extending my leg back as far as I can. Same thing here. If you're feeling like you're leaning forward, don't extend your leg as far back. Now switch. Just be mindful, we want to be standing up nice and tall. And, and woohoo, switch. Okay, other side. Three, two, Switch sides. And oh, you want to 
going to sit yourself out. <laughs> Give a little, that's it. Shake it out. All right, our, wait, our balancing will help loosen us up, okay? So I'm gonna switch my timer to 30 seconds. The main part of our workout is done. Doing great. So next, balancing. Choose your level. Okay, and four, three, two, and go. Shake that out, switch sides, working leg back, arm forward. on our glutes. Okay. Shake that out. Let's do some upper body stretch. Thursday already. I can't believe it. Holy cow. Yikes. So quick. Today's the 22nd. that stretch in her shoulder. Nice workout today. Hope you like that one. Let's go thumbs down. Thumbs up. Shake it out. Let's stretch our tricep. deep breaths. Switch sides. Stretch that out. Let's do some shoulder circles going back and then we'll do Back a few times. And forward. All right, wrist circles. Other way. Let's grab our ankle, just push your hip forward. Same side, toe to ceiling, reaching forward. Okay, other side, grab that ankle, push your hip forward.
toe to ceiling. Okay, now if you have a chair in front of you or a piece of furniture, um, if you want to really stretch the outside of our thighs, your uh, self from our finisher, you can grab your, yeah, by your ankle and then just push yourself back. Okay, you can hold on to the chair or a wall. You don't have to have your leg up too, too high on that standing leg. Just a little bit of bend so you can target your glutes. And sometimes if you push your hand just gently on that knee, well, that means you, yeah, just make sure if you're balancing, you'll feel it even more. Okay, come up gently, slowly out of that stretch. Switch sides. If that one doesn't work for you, then you can do ankle circles or just that's it. Go nice and slow, and you want to push your hips back. Okay. I felt like we needed that one today. Good. Ankle circles, and then our hula hoop. I'm thinking of making candy apples with the kids this weekend. I haven't done that before. I think you have to melt all the caramels or something. Switch. I have to research what a good apple is to do that with. Switch sides. They're the most expensive thing when you see them in the store somewhere. And it should be really, it's least expensive to make those caramels are really cheap and apples and a popsicle stick. Like $6 or something crazy. All right, shake that out. Change your bed sheets, everybody. <laughs> oh, our hula hoop. I can't forget our hula hoop. There we go. Or you'll just hula without me if I forget. <clears throat> Other way. Bring it together. Shake it out. Good job, everybody. Stay tuned for the next steps.